Rise and shine, everyone! Francesco again. I hope everyone's had a wonderful night's sleep and is well rested. I've just had my second cup of tea of the day, and I'll tell you what, I couldn't function without a cup of tea because I am um, normally I'm so tired in the morning. But without my second cup of tea, I don't think I could have come and speak to you guys. So good morning. I hope everyone's well. I want to speak to you this morning about my hopes and dreams for the future because yeah even though we have cerebral palsy or other conditions that relate to this nothing should stop us getting in the way of, of having that perfect dream and you know and you know what we're only here the once so you know if you do have any dreams and just make them happen because we're because you know we're we're invincible and 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 like I keep saying anything is truly possible. So my my first dream I'd like to happen is I would love to start composing some celebrity interviews and getting a little bit of an insight into their life. I have got quite a few names that I would like to interview. I would love to interview Craig David first of all because I think. He has done so well in, you know, the past 18 years. You know, he had a bit of a rocky ride at first, but then he's completely transformed it around with a number one album and another album on the way. Oh, and he's also just recently launched some clothing merchandise online for his Selfridges. So if you go onto the Selfridges website, have a look. I've already had a look at it, and it looks absolutely incredible. In fact, I've asked my mum and dad for the for one of his t-shirts my birthday so please 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 have a look and check out his range and you won't be disappointed the range is all about how he started way back in the 1990s with classic hits such as walking away want to do it rewind and seven days so craig if you are watching this I'd love to interview you one day and I really, really hope you do keep going because you are just absolutely fantastic. I'd love to interview Ma Marlena Katim. Marlena is a friend of mine and she's also a journalist for Australian TV and she has cerebral palsy just like me but she uses a communication aid to help with this. And she's interviewed so many celebrities and she's living proof that anything tru truly is possible with cerebral palsy. So Marlena, if you are watching this, I'd love to interview you as well because you are the epitome of what strength is and you just seem to amazing with your work. So keep keep on going, keep on going with it because you're doing a fantastic job. My second dream is I'd love to go on TV and the radio just to spread some more awareness about the condition and get people talking about the YouTube channel, really making this YouTube channel fly. Because when I first started it, I didn't think that I would get nearly 3,000 views. I, I thought I would get a few views and that would be it. But, you know, just to have nearly 3,000 views in just over a week and a half is absolutely phenomenal so a massive thank you to, to you all for constantly watching and subscribing and you know just flying the flag for cerebral palsy because cerebral palsy should be a condition that is talked about and sadly in this day and age cerebral palsy is something that is not talked about enough and it should be because there are so many people living with living with it but different spectrums of it as well so if there are any radio shows and TV shows that would like to get in contact with me to do an interview, then you can go on my Twitter and you can send me a message and I will reply to you as soon as I can. My third dream would be to continue the, my work with Blackburn, Blackburn Youthstone because Blackburn Youthstone have been an absolute lifeline for me. They took me out of a really, really dark place. I was in a really dark place. 18 months ago due to my college funding being cut through no fault of my own but I have learned 
but by through working with them, I can develop myself. I become more confident. My self esteem has rocketed through the roof. You know, I'm. You know, we're getting more and more things done now. We've just announced a new game room for downstairs. So if there are any people in the Blackburn and Darwin area that would like to participate in this consult consultation with game, then please feel free to get in touch with Blackburn Youth Zone. And I will remind you that there are only 30 places available for this. So please get in touch with the Youth Zone and reserve to put your place. And I'll also say that, you know, they've really helped me to become that girl that I wanted to be, they've, they've helped me so much, they've let me do so many events and I didn't think 18 months ago this would be possible, so a massive, massive thank you to, to you all at Youth So, And as well as this, I want to help on side Youth Zone, on side Youth Zones create another, another few Youth Zones by 2020 because Youth Zones, as I've already said in one of my previous videos, that I think the Youth Zones are so important because they help to encourage self-esteem, confidence, and they are living proof to cut down on the number of antisocial behaviour orders that are currently surfacing in the UK at the moment. So it is so important that, that every council and every borough should have a Youth Zone as well. So I would love to help with this and I think my final dream would be to go to go to Essex, meet some other caster, the only way is Essex and I'd love to go to the Sugar Hut and meet Mark Wright and Michelle Keegan because I think they're absolutely fantastic. They're like the new posh and vets. And Michelle is absolutely gorgeous. She could wear any, she could wear a bin liner and still wake up absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So these are a few of my dreams that I'd like to accomplish. And I just want to say to you all this morning that no matter what position you're in, you know, even if you're in a very good situation such as myself, where if you, where, you know, you've got the appropriate family and, and support helping you out, but. If you've not, then please, please, please don't give up because the possibilities are endless. But it's up to you how you achieve these dreams. It's your attitude that is on the line. So if you are feeling like you can't do anything, then please, please just don't stop trying because it is all going to work out in the end. So a massive thank you to you all this morning for watching. And I will see you very soon. Bye.